effort, the energy from Mo Gee here tonight, especially with James Banks in some foul trouble. And there's Riller with 31, his fourth time scoring 30 or more in a game this year. And Mo Gee ended that little stretch with a layup. And here's Riller with a layup. Grant Riller with 29. Keep King from moving so easily inside. We've seen it a couple times already. A lot of quick adjustments the Legends need to make here. Nice job. What about Grant Riller with that little scoop and finish? Now Riller across the timeline. Gets it into the paint all the way to the bucket and in. Wow. <laughs> You know, that in a lot of ways is really more than the record how you're going to judge the success of someone like Coach G and uh, the, the G League team, in this case, the Legends. Boy, Baba just not looking for that shot yeah. like we did the last, like he did the last time we saw him here on New Year's. Here's Riller, hesitates, drives right to the front of the rim and in. The second we've seen this quarter, very, very rare, I feel like. And there's Riller. And oh, that's, a, that's a travel. <laughs> no call. Again, happened right in front of the official, and there's a bucket and a foul on the other end. Feel to it, doesn't it, Jared? I mean, they've only taken two threes the night. Legends have taken seven, so there's been nine three-point attempts all game. Which The Legends own the second quarter and have led by as many as 11, which they do right now. Riller, another mid-range jumper up and good. And now they lead by 13, their biggest lead of the ball game. He has nine assists in the ball game. Here's Riller, Riller going to work. Riller reverse layup up and good. They can't stay in front of him, Tony. And the man of the hour, Grant Riller <laughs> across the timeline here for Texas. Riller into the paint. Tough shot, contested, but again, he got DJ going back. Like a champ. Uh, well, Javi King's dad was a semi-pro coach. Hey, how about Tajay Moore? Dribbles into the paint, now back out to the wing. Now step back, mid-range jumper is up and good by Grant Riller. Double figures for Riller now with 11, and the Legends lead is now at the five. Taking threes because that's what they're being asked to do now. You can't just be the presence underneath the basket. You have to be kind of that all-around player. It's got to be kind of stressful. Yeah, no, no doubt. Oh, no, keep it there. I don't blame him for wanting him at the ball in Zan. There's Riller. Like, look at this. And he has fouled count the basket. And they just have no answer. Riller. Triggers a jumper, gives the fan a high five after he hits it. And struggling tonight. Struggled this season from the line. Riller. Contact and a chance at a three-point play on the other end. Grant Riller. Group or just your standard individual tickets, call the number on the screen, go to TexLegends.com. Riller, the drive. And For Jordan Bohan, I should say, and it's a one-point game. Hardy into the front court, finds Riller. Riller with a running start. Riller got his man. And a 13-point lead is down to eight. Riller, three ball just up and good. Going under them screens, and the boy off he's been shooting the ball well over four to start this game and here's Riller into the paint and count the bucket and a foul Dozier now three out of three from beyond the arc and five for five in the game with his 13 points Riller through the lane off the window and in nice strong drive that time by Riller Chamonga with the first bucket for the Wolves Riller has it out front Riller gets it into the paint now just kind of fades to his left and knocks down the 14 footer